वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल सो दिस इज़ माई सेकेंड वीडियो ऑन शेट सी एन यू आई लाइब्रेरी सो इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई शो यू हाउ वी कैन इंस्टॉल दिस शेट सी एन यू आई लाइब्रेरी इन आर इन आर रिएक्ट जी एस प्रोजेक्ट एंड हाउ वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ द डिफरेंट कॉम्पोनेंट्स अवेलेबल बाई अवेलेबल टू अस हेयर एज यू कैन सी ऑन माई स्क्रीन सो हाउ वी कैन एड दोज कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन इन प्रोजेक्ट एंड how we can design a particular page i've shown you how we can design a login page and uh, added similar kind of a toggle button in in our application for switching between light and dark theme so if you want to if you want to learn about that you can uh, watch my previous video i'll add the link in the description below okay so in this video uh, we are going to talk about the new feature introduced by the library okay the uh, as you can see there is a new tab uh, enabled on the on this shetsi and ui library website uh, called blocks blocks are nothing but uh, you can say it's a combination of uh, components shetsi and ui components and uh, and in combination to that they are create they have created a readily uh, template for a particular page uh, so so few example if i showed you that uh, this is a particular uh, dashboard example for a recent order page so this is fully designed all you need to do is just go to this code section you can see the whole code behind it and copy paste in it in your project okay like that or i uh, just click on this copy code button okay so you can copy this whole code and paste it in your project and this whole page will be uh, available uh, like designed in your application okay so there are uh, various examples they have uh, listed on their websites uh, so since it's beginning so there are a uh, few of the dashboards design they have listed like this one is for product listing page okay and uh, there are other dashboard pages examples as well as you can see this one this uh, you can see it's a crud uh, it's a uh, basic entry form for adding a product in the application uh, a settings page and uh, i guess seems like a playground page for for your uh, for basically a chat app if you want to create okay and this is a, a product inventory page inventory page where you can just uh, add products and show the available products in your application okay uh, and this is the dashboard design for the whole application so it is going it has a a whole nav bar top nav bar there is no side bar okay and a search box and these uh, like short, um, a small component cards okay and a grid okay and a beautifully designed login page a very 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 minimalistic i mean you can just uh copy the code and paste it in your application and the pay login page would be uh designed okay so it it makes uh a life very easy okay so there are couple of examples for the login page uh as you can see this was very minimalistic with only two text boxes and a button and this is with the heading and a little bit of title uh like a little description a link for forgot your password and sign up so if you want to use that and there is a sign up page template as well and uh, our login page with a side by side image option okay so i guess uh, these are the all the pages they have introduced for now uh, so they uh, apart from these they have a uh, option uh, they they are basically giving us a option by which we can request a particular block let's say if uh, uh, you have an idea that uh, which can be uh, leveraged by others as well that uh if there is going to be a dashboard uh, for a e-commerce app uh, you want a block for that you can just request a block probably uh, someone from the community can uh, help you in that or uh, maybe uh, the creators of this shetsi and ui library they can introduce that block for you okay and apart from that they they do have a lift mode as well i mean uh, i've showed you that how you can copy paste the copy the whole code for this particular page but if you want to copy a particular section of this page you can just uh, enable the lift mode so lift mode is nothing if you want to copy a particular uh, code for a particular section you can enable this 
uh, and this as you can see this these components uh, the separate components are highlighted so as, let's say i want to uh, have this grid design in my project so i can just copy the code for this particular grid only i don't have to copy the whole code using this uh, it will give me the option to uh, copy the code for this grid only okay very convenient when you want to uh, take out few pieces few pieces of the of a particular page okay so you can enable this lift mode and copy the whole code okay like this and these blocks they have introduced these all are responsive if i select this tablet option so this is how it is going to look uh, look like on our, on a tablet on a medium screen size uh, device and this a mob on mobile device uh, this is going to look like this okay so pretty good uh, okay let me show you how we can make use of these uh, blocks in a project okay so in this video since in my last video i have already showed you how you can uh, install the library in your projects project so in this video i'm not going to do that i've already created a shed scene template uh, for for a react project so i'm going to show you how we can uh, make use of blocks okay uh, so this project is uh, already set up for for this shed scene ui library i've not added the uh, components in the project yet i just wanted to show you how you can make use of uh, the how you can add those components in in your react project easily so since we are going to make use of the blocks and blocks uh, i mentioned earlier as well that these are nothing but the uh, combination of different components they have introduced in listed in on their website uh, website right so let's say if uh, i copy this code okay let's say i want to design this dashboard so i i have copied this code for dashboard and i'll just simply go here and uh, in my src folder okay i'll just create a file uh, let's say dashboard dot tsx okay and in this page uh, let me create a component and dashboard okay and i'll paste the code which i copied from there okay this uh, the whole code is component i've just pasted this inside this dashboard page okay uh, as you can see uh, since i haven't installed any of the components of this uh, shed and ui library so i am getting this error okay so first we need to install all these components so there are two things we can do like uh, one by one we can check that what are the different components being used in this project and then we can install install those components right uh, by by this npx shed and ui latest add and the component name right add badge button and card something like that but that uh, since that is going to be pretty lengthy and pretty time taking process so what we are going to do is we just i'll just add all the components uh, in one go and then we can these error would be would be gone right so and uh, write this command and it is after that it is going to list out all the components available so i am going to select for now i am going to select all the components so that these are all installed in my project and i don't have to install uh, each of those one by one right so i'm just selecting those component by pressing space bar okay do that and once you are done selecting all the component just press enter okay uh, let me just do that yep i've selected all the components yep uh, let me hit enter uh, as you can see the error from our all the components are, is gone since we have installed all the components as you can see there are still two errors on the page uh, one is related to the next link and the next image since this is not a next js project that's why we are seeing this error okay let me remove these from here and we'll fix these errors by manually okay since in a react js project we don't have this link component so we can replace this with the anchor tag and hopefully this is the error would be resolved okay let me quickly 
replace all the links with anchor tags okay. and we don't have an image tag as well so let me just write the HTML IMG tag here and yep we are all good our page errors are gone uh, so let me just quickly call this on on our page let me call this dashboard from app.tsx so I've for now I have removed all the boilerplate code from the app component let me just install a react router dom library so that we can create a route for our dashboard okay I have installed the react router dom library in the project and uh, these are the imports I have mentioned on the top of the page and uh, I've imported the dashboard components as well and uh, this is how you can define a particular route in your project so I have defined the dashboard route so basically whenever we uh, open a route of our application uh, a dashboard page will be opened up okay so let's run the project and we can run dev okay and we should be able to see the dashboard page okay so we are not let me go back to the dashboard page and check what what can be the error uh, how 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 so let me check the console yep uh, yep so let me uh, so i i was trying this uh, try cop i was trying these blocks earlier as well but it uh, seems like there is one error uh, in the block section so whenever we try to uh, copy the code uh, for a particular block and uh, if they are making use of this tooltip component in the project so the uh, one tooltip provider error is coming so basically we need to wrap the tooltip component inside the tooltip provider uh, component uh, i am not i'm i don't know how that they have not fixed it but uh, there is an issue with the tooltip component so let me just uh, import this tooltip provider first and then uh, we will wrap it okay let me just copy this and what we need to do is uh, we need to wrap this tooltip provider uh, tooltip component with the tooltip provider okay i'm just copy paste in this okay yep like this i hope i have wrapped all the tooltips let me just go to the page and refresh it yep all the errors are gone as you can see so this is how our dashboard page looks like so i have done nothing i've just copy pasted the code from here in my application and as you can see the whole beautifully designed page is available is added in my application okay so pretty convenient to have this these blocks okay now we don't have to design the whole page we can just simply copy the code and paste it in the project okay let me show you the few other few examples as well uh, let me uh, let's just say we want to design a login page so i'll just copy this copy the code for this okay uh, let's create one login file okay login.tsx and paste the code here uh, so this we need to rename to login since it's not a dashboard page for us and uh, let's remove these next year's imports and uh, yep we need to replace the links with anchor tags okay and apart from that yep this one as well and yeah here and since we do not have this placeholder image in the project so we are not going to see anything uh, let me just quickly create a route first uh, so let's say we created a a route for our dashboard let's say uh, we don't want to open dashboard on on in root i will call the login page here and for this we'll just create a dashboard route okay so now if i go to my project and yep, as you can see here yep this is the login page which we just created and since we do not have any image in the project that's why this section is coming like this okay and uh, if you want to have a uh, image for for your login page you can add it here and place it and then uh, you'll have a beautifully designed page login page okay let me go to the dashboard page yep this is how our dashboard page looks like and this is how our login page looks like let me add an image here so that it looks beautiful uh, so i have added this image 
login dot jpg in my project in the public folder let me just uh, change the name okay so yep like this and if we go to our project and refresh it uh, no it's not working it's not svg it's jpg my bad yep little bit better so this is how you can create different pages in your application using blocks okay so don't worry i am going to uh, upload this uh, repository this template project uh, on github and since and you will be able to download this repo and uh, play around with it okay so this is going to be very helpful and uh, let me know if you have any comments or any questions regarding this library or uh, regarding the new feature regarding the blocks okay so if you haven't already uh, subscribe to my channel like the video okay